you guys probably all know by now that the first Scarlet and Violet DLC, The Teal Mask, is not far away. At the time I'm uploading this video, we are exactly one month away from the first DLC coming out, and I'm starting to get pretty excited. We're supposed to get a ton of news this month, which makes perfect sense, but there's one question I've been seeing a ton of people ask. Which Pokemon are coming back in Wave 1, and which will be saved for Wave 2? The complete list of returning Pokemon is already out and has existed for a while, but it's harder to get excited for your favorite Pokemon returning if you don't know if it's coming back in one month or three to four months. Today, I'll be going over the confirmed list of Pokemon returning in the Teal Mask and the list for the Indigo Disc to keep you informed. Before we get started, I'll be hosting a giveaway soon for a copy of the Scarlet and Violet DLC in a future video, so be on the lookout for that. You definitely want to subscribe if you haven't yet because I'm coming out with tons of content to get you excited and prepared for the DLCs. Comment down below if you're more excited for DLC 1 or DLC 2 and what Pokemon is returning that's your favorite. Thank you all for watching and let's go! I thought I'd mention, every Pokemon shown in this video is confirmed from some official announcement, whether it be from the Pokemon website, a Pokemon Presents video, or the most recent Nintendo Direct. Many more Pokemon will return that aren't shown in this video, but for a lot of them, we have no idea what DLC they'll be coming back in yet, since it hasn't been officially announced. Starting with the Teal Mask, the Pokemon we know for sure are returning are pretty good. Starting with Kanto, we got Ekans and Arbok, Clefairy and Clefable, Vulpix and Ninetales, Oh, and before continuing, I should mention, any Pokemon that comes back like Vulpix, who has an alternate version like an Alolan form, will also have its alternate form return too. Anyways, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath are coming back, as well as Snorlax, which a ton of people are excited for. From Johto, we are getting Sentret and Furret, Hoot Hoot and Noctowl, Apom, Yanma, Gligar, Swinub, and Pillowswan. Since I mentioned Pokemon like Clefairy and Snorlax earlier, this also does mean that we are getting Cleffa and Politoed from Johto as well, and this applies to all evolution lines. There's a decent selection from Hoenn returning, which is Poochyena and Mightyena, Seedot, Nuzleaf, and Shiftree, Corphish and Crawdont, Feebas and Melodic, Duskull and Dusclops, and Chimeco. I know Melodic is a pretty big fan favorite, so that should be pretty hype. Sinnoh doesn't actually have any Pokemon confirmed returning that aren't just evolutions or pre-evolutions from earlier regions. Munchlax, Chingling, Mamoswine, just Pokemon you already know from the ones I mentioned earlier. Unova has a very small selection, which is just Timber and Litwick with their evolutions. I guess that is more than Gen 6 though, which is literally just Phantump and Trevenant. I'm sure there will be multiple more Pokemon coming from Kalos, but at this time, this is the only one that we know of for sure. There's not much left, so I'll just name the rest from Alola and Galar. We have evolution lines for Grubbin, jengmo -Oh, and lastly, Cramorant. I'd say that's a pretty good list coming in the Teal Mask, especially when you factor in that there will be a lot more coming. Me personally, I'm a lot more excited for the confirmed list for the Indigo Mask, and you'll see why pretty soon. Also, if you made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed yet, then please consider it. Anyway, here's what we know is coming from Kanto in the Indigo Disc. Sandshrew and Sandslash, meaning they are Alolan Forms too. The evolution lines for Oddish, Geodude, Doduo, Seal, Execute, Hitmonlee, and Hitmonchan of course, Rhyhorn, Magmar, and my absolute favorite, Lapras. For the Johto region, the only returning Pokemon is Skarmory if you don't count evolutions and pre-evolutions from Kanto. If you want a refresher on those, the picture's up here on screen. Hoenn has only two evolution lines returning, but they're very exciting. Trapinch and Beldum are returning, meaning that Flygon and Metagross are gonna be back and I cannot wait. I made a video in the past about how to get old event Pokemon in 2023, and I got a shiny Metagross from that, and I'll absolutely be transferring mine up. Besides two evolutions from earlier Pokemon, Rhyperior and Magmortar, the only confirmed Pokemon returning from Sinnoh are the Fossils. Moving on to Unova, we actually have a lot of confirmed Pokemon. Let's start with Blitzel and Zebstrika, who have not been in a Pokemon game since Ultra Sun and Moon on the 3DS. Wow, it's been a long time. There's also Cottony, Minchino, Solosis, Golette, and Volibee. Not the most exciting Pokemon in my opinion, but it's always good to have more options available. Before moving on, keep in mind that you won't actually need to own the DLC to be able to own these Pokemon. You'll be able to transfer them up with Pokemon Home or trade with other people if you want to do that instead. Not much is coming back from the Kalos region, just Esper and Inkay, and the only Pokemon from Alola is the Picky Peck line. Just like Blitzel and Zebstrika from earlier, Picky Peck is another Pokemon who we haven't seen since the 3DS game, so it's been actual years. The only other Pokemon we know to be returning in the Indigo 
Bisk are Milkery and Duraludon, and that's it. Like I mentioned earlier, there are a lot more Pokemon that will be in DLC 1 and 2 that weren't mentioned today, because we simply don't know what DLC they'll return in. We will be getting more Pokemon news very soon, maybe even the day after I upload this video, who knows. I really can't thank you guys enough for the support lately, and if you want to get all of my content, then make sure to check my other social links like TikTok and Instagram as well. I upload videos on there that sometimes don't make it over to YouTube, so you should definitely check that out if you're interested. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Please subscribe if you enjoy my videos, and I'll see you all very soon. Peace out, everyone.